I'm Dr. Michael Winters in, in Paducah, Kentucky. I have a chiropractic practice there. I've been here 40 years now. And I work with a, pa a lot of patients with uh, chronic health issues. And actually, if you're working with patients these days, you're seeing more patients with chronic health issues anyway, that's for sure. But uh, we try to go pretty deep to figure out what's going on and how we can help them get healthy and then stay healthy. Dr. Turner that developed uh, QNRT was using the bioregulation and kind of tested it out for a year. And since uh, most of his other recommendations have turned out real well, I decided to uh, jump in and get a BRT unit. Nice. So what devices do you have? The Cellcom and the uh, Nesta Mobile. Okay. We actually have three Nesta Mobiles at the moment. And so do you use them simultaneously or sometimes one or the other? Or how do you like to use those devices? Uh, well, we use uh, the Cellcom in the office and usually along with the Nest and mobile because um, I think it's Dr. Gabor says it works better that way. So that's what we do. Uh, and then I have two uh, Nesta units that I rent out to patients. Okay. And is that a pretty successful program? You have a lot of patients who are interested in renting them. Yeah, it's becoming more, um, more and more successful. And the bottom line on that is that I found out for really chronic people. And right now, uh, there's a, a whole bunch of people with post-viral syndromes from mm. post-COVID, both from the stress and the infections, et cetera. There's a lots of people in post-viral patterns, and especially those people, if I get them on uh, the Nesta mobile right away, I got a way better chance of helping those people. Really? Like, phenomenally better chance of helping those people if they... If they either simultaneously with me starting working with them, they're using the Nesta mobile, and we usually do it for about two weeks at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, or if uh, even before I get my hands on them, there's, they've already started the Nesta mobile. It's um, cases that typically are really, really tough uh, have been responding way better by doing that. Interesting. So I might eventually have more than three. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So when you say really tough, just complex, they're not responding to what they, you know, you would tra traditionally see someone respond to. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Well, I mean that most of these patients with uh, post COVID syndromes or a uh, strong Epstein Barr virus uh, presentations, they don't, they don't, they don't bounce back like most people do. Mm. And those people, we have a tougher time getting improvements in their heart rate variability, getting their energy up and so forth. And so the things that we that we do for a lot of people, they don't necessarily respond the same way or they may, you know, they've got a greater chance of not responding at all. But if I get them on the Nesta Mobile in the first two weeks, I'm telling you, it increases my odds with those people like dramatically. Wow. That's Impressive. And so that's uh, what we're moving to for at least that particular category of patient. And then we've had, you know, I've just had, I could, this isn't the time to go over all the testimonials, but we, we had some pretty good, darn good responses with the, both the Cellcom and the Nesta. But, I, it's, it's, you know, with the Nesta, you get people, they're doing something for their nervous system, like one or two times a day or more. Mm -hmm. uh, which is not, you just can't get that much uh, repetition into their neurology quickly otherwise. And so I think it's increasing our odds of results. Yeah, it's extending your ability to continue treating them even when they're not in your office. Yeah, right. and we've got, we've just, you know, just been renting the Nesta Mobiles for maybe six weeks or so. And uh, we've, we've got our first person that's written it a second time. So that's kind of cool. Do you feel like you're addressing neurological or mental health things at the same time as the physical things with the bioregulation, or does it help you access that more? Oh yeah, it's all neurological. And I mean, one of our, the most stunning thing I've seen so far is um, a teacher with school shooting trauma. And we've done a lot of work with her on trauma release and neurofeedback. Um, and brain balance adjusting and other 
other work, but when we st when she started on the cell com, it, it was light and day difference after, and now on her, she did about 20 sessions. I mean, most people aren't doing that much, but it totally rewired her in terms of, of the types of things that trigger her and the uh, extent of that triggering. So now things that she would literally just fall apart about previously, they're either, either don't trigger her or it's uh, just a super mild thing and she gets back in rhythm or back in regulation pretty darn quickly. So, and I, I basically, uh, I've done everything I kn knew for this lady. I've flown around the country to a few different seminars, learning things to help her. And for her, I would, you know, you got to realize that everything builds on everything else. So, but when we, um, when we did the bioregulation with her, it was the biggest thing I've ever seen wow. in terms of helping her, this particular patient. When did she start to feel that shift? How many sessions? Ooh, that's such a good question. Probably um, uh, probably halfway through. The way I knew that she would be that she was rewired was that um, in Kentucky schools you have to take a um, an active shooter training every year for the teachers in uh, September when they start school. And she said to me, and sometimes you, they do a live experience, which is really traumatic for many teachers, and sometimes they do a video, but she said to me, I watched the school shooter training video this year instead of getting exempted for it. I watched the school shooter training video because I wanted to see if anything was different, and I thought like I, and I felt like I could handle it. And she said that, and I could see on her physical body that she wasn't you know, she wasn't all in a major fight or flight pattern and she wasn't crying and falling apart and et cetera. I knew she'd gotten essentially rewired <laughs> quite a yeah. bit with the cell com. And so um, cell com I nested together. But uh, so I knew like this is big time, uh, big time change.